Welcome to Sacred Rest. This is a life lesson about angels in disguise. A story is told of a man who lived near a river. One day, the river began to flood. As the river rose, warnings were given via phone, text, radio, and TV. People in four-wheel drive vehicles were driving in the rising water throughout the neighborhood trying to help. As a 4 by 4 drove by the man's house, someone shouted to him, Get in the truck! The water is rising. Let us help you. The man stood confidently on his doorstep and said, No thanks. I'll be fine. God will protect me from the flood. Of course, the water continued to rise higher and higher beyond the man's doorstep. Soon the man was standing in his second floor window. A neighbor with a small fishing boat came alongside his house with room for one more. Again, he was asked to jump into the boat so that he wouldn't die in the flood. The man replied, I'm good. All will be well. I've been praying to God and he'll save me. I have faith. Of course, the water continued to rise higher and higher beyond the man's second floor. Finally, with the water rising, the man scrambled to his roof. Eventually, a rescue helicopter pilot sees the man on top of his roof. Using a loudspeaker, the pilot shouted to the man to grab a rope lowered to the man within just inches of his grasp. Again, the man waved off the helicopter saying, No thank you, I'm fine, I'm praying to God and he will save me. Go help someone else. The helicopter flew off, the flood continued to rise, and rising above the roof, the man drowned. When the man finally had a chance to talk to God, the man said, I had faith, I prayed, and you still let me die. What happened? To this God replied, I heard your prayers. I sent you a truck, a boat, and even a rescue helicopter. What more did you expect me to do? It's sad when people ignore the trucks, the boats, and helicopters in their lives that seem so obvious. God promises He will hear us. Psalms 118.5 says, quote, I called upon the Lord in distress, and the Lord answered me. End quote. So many different people tried to reach out and help the man in his distress. In our story, they truly were angels in disguise, sent by God to help the man in trouble. Often we are asked to be each other's angels. Do we ask God on a regular basis to be someone's angel? We all know that God often answers our prayers through other people. Songwriter David Lamont penned the lyrics, We are each other's angels, and we meet when it is time. We keep each other going, and we show each other signs. So many kind acts and answered prayers begin with your hands and my hands, each making a difference in our own small way. One of these small acts of kindness occurred just the other day when my wife and I were in a local drive through line. As we approached to pay, the cashier said that the car ahead had already paid for the meal. It was such a sweet gesture and it had lasting effects. In fact, one instance of this type of angel made national news several months ago when the gift of paying it forward, or in this case to the car behind, continued for over two and a half days and 900 cars at a Dairy Queen in Minnesota. The manager, Tina Jensen said, there's all different types of ways to help people. She continued, I think this touched a lot of people that we didn't even know it touched, deeper than we know. And you don't know what's going on in a person's life. No matter what's going on, take care of each other, be positive, be happy, and don't focus on the negative. We'll get through it." End quote. One of the direct recipients of the kindness said, quote, During times like these, it kind of restores your faith in humanity a little. The way the world is now, you see a lot of anger, tension, and selfish behavior. What we witnessed was pure kindness, and it was a breath of fresh air, really. Not that we got free ice cream, she said. The gesture was way more valuable." End quote. So my friends, let's all commit to being each other's angels in pure kindness and help answer each other's prayers. God loves all His children and is always there as we reach out. For in Jeremiah 29, 12, it states, quote, Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. End quote. 
Who will you help today? Whose prayer will you answer today? Whose angel will you be today? Remember, you are loved. I hope you felt uplifted and inspired. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell. Also, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you right away.